The pieces to a powerful ring are hidden in nightmares behind each of these portals. Find them and bring them to me, and you'll get your wish. Fail, and you'll find there are fates far worse than death awaiting you here. <laughs> the Reaper Nurses are some of the many enemies in Dark Deception. They will make their first appearance in Chapter 4, in the level Torment Therapy. They share the level with the boss enemy called the Matron and other possible unconfirmed enemies. The Reaper Nurses appear as slim female humanoids with light skin, dressed in 20th century nurse clothing. Their faces are visibly obscured by what appears to be a white paper bag with a medical symbol marked on the front. But don't be fooled, they can still see through their medical bags. Unlike the Matron, however, the Reaper nurses wear red combs across the top of their bags. Their clothing comprises of a red and white dress with red buttons on the shirt and the skirt, white leggings on their legs, and the same black first aid sign on their shoulders and belt. They wear red gloves and red roller skates resembling heels. Most likely all Reaper nurses will be seen wielding a large syringe, which will be part of their possible mechanic. Based on the Reaper nurses weapon in the voice reveal from the Q&A in the leak on Instagram by the devs, it can be deduced that the Reaper nurses will have four weapons, a giant syringe, a tiny syringe, a pill, and their bare hands. Although not much is known about their mechanic, it is confirmed by Vince Livings on the second Q&A that parts of the Reaper Nurse's possible mechanic will involve them being able to switch out between different weapons to their advantage. It is also confirmed by Vince in the fourth Q&A that they will be able to stun the player by using their peels. It is also thirdly confirmed by Vince in the fifth Q&A that they have the Vanish ability to go completely invisible. The Reaper Nurses, based on their voice reveal, demonstrate a friendly, cheerful, and seductive personality, greeting the player as a new patient. The Reaper Nurses have a sadistic side, however, saying they get carried away sometimes in performing their duties, and that the player would unfortunately not have a quick and painless death. Did you know? According to Vince Livings in the second Q&A, the Reaper nurses were considered by him to be the hardest character in Dark Deception to create so far due to their abilities and their animations. In a previous Q&A, Vince confirmed that the Reaper nurses won't have red crosses in frenzy mode. The Reaper nurses can actually be seen while they're invisible. They can be seen by a red light that's under them. The Reaper nurses slide with their roller skates from side to side, rather than back and forth. Based on fans looking at their height on this, it was confirmed that the Reaper nurses are as tall as the Gold Watchers. When the Reaper nurses run after the player, they are faster than the player's speed boost. The Reaper nurse has a New York accent, the same place Doug was convicted of his crimes. This suggests that the Reaper Nurses may be an embodiment of the five women that Doug has sexually harassed. Their design may be inspired by nurses from the Silent Hill franchise, Medic from Team Fortress 2, and Harley Quinn from Batman. Well, speak of the devil. Looks like he just walked in. Ooh, and he's a looker, too. I'll get back to you shortly, okay? Bye-bye now. Do you want to become one of our new patients? I just need to take a small blood sample. You're not afraid of needles, are you? It might be comforting to tell you that your death will be quick and painless. 
but that will be a lie. After all, we can get a bit carried away while performing our duties. However, I can promise you one thing. You'll never see it coming. Here, have a pill! Lord Malik sends his regards.